to attract them. Let me, uh, otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, um, he just, you know, going crazy <laughs> like this, so. Uh, what do attract the jinn? Pictures. 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 What do attract the jinn? Idols. Idols. What do attract? Music. Mm. There is this magnet. There is this magnet that attracts them. Only Allah Azza wa knows. But subhanAllah, they get attracted by pictures, by music. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> There's some, my, some people might say, oh, music, no, yeah, Sheikh, music, why music? <laughs> music is good. We have a Sheikh and this Sheikh and that Sheikh and we have fatwa. The sheikh, hey, music is halal, it's okay. What kind of music? <coughs> you think, my brothers and sisters, let me ask you this, huh, please, uh, with all the respect. Abu Bakr and Umar sitting. Huh? Abu Bakr with his turban and sitting, whatever, you know, with his big beard. And Umar next to him, and Abu Bakr is doing like this. Abu Umar, hey, like this. <laughs> you think, Ma'adallah, Hasha, you think Abu Bakr would do something like that? You think Abu Umar would do something like that? You tell me music is okay. The four madhabs, Al Shafi, Abu Hanifa, Al Maliki, Al Imam Ahmad, Al Shafi, four of them. They are all with the consensus, alhamdulillah. This is no differences of madahib and whatnot. They both disliked, they four, all of them disliked something called music. To the extent that Abdullah ibn Abbas anhu ardah has translated or interpreted the ayah. There's one ayah in the Quran that talks about lagu, things that actually may deviate people. And he said, this meaning of this ayah is about music. Wallahi, he says. He says, Wallahi, Allah talks about music here. He swears by Allah that it is music. And do you know, my brothers and sisters, that music was prohibited before Khamar? Do you know that music was made haram before, before, ghina, before Khamar, before the alcohol? Way before alcohol. Subhanallah. Then comes somebody who says music is okay. There is something called anashid, Islamic anashid. There are some discrepancies, as long as you don't overdo them, they're okay. Wallahu ta'ala alam, according to some people, they're okay, as long as there is no. But how about those that, you know, Allahu, this, this, what kind of music is this? The beat. <laughs> some people, they like those people. So music actually is something that attracts the jinn as well. What, uh, what else attracts the jinn? Pictures, idols, statues, right? Uh, music. Television. Television. The tell I vision. Uh, bad gatherings. Bad deeds. These are all the things that you know, uh, attracts them. Exactly. Can they be seen? Like only they can be seen only if they take the form of of yes a human an animal or a human yes I can give you that too all right I'm sorry only if they take the form of an animal or a human like what dogs and yeah like cats cats snakes scorpions Not necessarily, but they like the color black. You know, black things, you know, something like that. Now, <laughs> let's keep moving. Uh, who can give me the hadith? Maybe the sisters. All right, the sisters. Give me the hadith that indicates where Iblis live. I don't want you to tell me he lives there. I want you to give me the hadith that says, where does Iblis live? Give me the hadith and we'll send you sweets. Help.
I'll give you a hint. The throne of the shaitan. The throne of the shaitan. Give me the hadith. Hadith, hadith. I mentioned the hadith. Can you tell me the hadith? All right, brothers, hadith. Who can give me the hadith about the throne of the shaitan? The throne of the shaitan is in the ocean. Okay, Taif, the hadith. You know, who narrates this hadith? Huh? No. You see, if it's not Bukhari, it's Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Muslim, Bukhari. <laughs> it is Sahih Muslim. It is Sahih Muslim, but actually... Uh, okay, who narrated the hadith? No, it's Abu Huraira. Of course, it's Abu Huraira. No, it's not Abu Huraira. Who narrated the hadith? It's in Sahih Muslim. No, it's not Aisha. Jabir ibn Abdullah. I take my candy back. Jabir ibn Abdullah narrates the hadith. Put it down. Note it. Jabir ibn Abdullah in Sahih Muslim narrates that the Prophet ﷺ says the throne of the shaitan is on water. Is on water. Naam. Subhanallah. We talked about a test for witchcrafting, if you remember. Uh, just uh, go back, because I was asked a question about this. Somebody called me on the phone. What uh, hand do I read those verses on? I said to you know, take your right palm and to recite the verses, Surat Ibrahim 42 to 52, and Surat Al-Mu'minun, Al-Falaq, Al-Nas, and then put your palm in front of the patient's eyes, right? And then you recite these, uh, these uh, as you recite, you put your palm and then you put it on the forehead of the person's, uh, person who's sick. That person, if that person has been uh, hit by some kind of witchcrafting, they may see something black or they may see something like a cross or they may faint, they may feel dizzy. So that's sort of like a sign uh, that that person is actually, uh, could be uh, hit by, by witchcrafting. What kinds of witchcrafting? Taib, there's so many kinds of witchcrafting, uh, witchcrafting out there. Let us talk about some of those uh, kinds, my brothers and sisters. There's a kind called separating between husbands and wives. Right? Separating between husbands and wives. Uh, they put a spell on the husband or maybe the wife so that they can maybe separate. Uh, or there's something called uh, incompetence. For instance, the husband is, mashallah, you know, uh, uh, you know, pretty much healthy and everything, but uh, they, as they approach or as he approaches his wife, they just uh, pretty much f he feels weak. You know, that person feels very weak, incompetent. So there could be something. It could be that that person is is uh, maybe there is a, a spell on that person. Maybe he's been hit by some sort of black magic. Okay. Not necessarily true, but it could be that that person is hit by black magic. So that's uh, impotence or incompetence? Impotence. Yeah, or impotent. Now, nah. So we'll fix that. But the person is incompetent, but he's impotent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Extreme love or blind obedience? Huh. Extreme love. That doesn't mean that if somebody he you know loves his wife or he loves his husband to death, he's hit by black magic. But to the extent that if he or she tells him jump from the 